It's Mr. Money in the Bank. The following contest is a no holds barred match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds. Senor Money in the Bank, Damien Priest. Damien Priest is dead set on growing his legacy, on bringing more and more glory to his name. And he's done just that, Cole. A modern day bad guy picking fights and winning gold. But it's never enough for the power hungry Damian Priest. A look of pure disdain on the face of Damian Priest. Well, it's because he has passed judgment on the entire WWE Universe and has found them all unworthy. his opponent. You know, Balor's strength, his speed, his skill, all grow to new levels when he transforms into the demon. Yeah, when the demon takes over, Finn Balor is nearly invincible. He is preparing to go one-on-one -on -one with one of the most destructive forces in WWE in Damian Priest. There's only one rule in a no-holds-barred match. Pinfalls or submissions have to happen in the ring. Apart from that, this match is anything goes. I have to admit, I'm a sucker of the traditional pinfall submission rules, but in a no-holds-barred match, tradition flies right out the window. He's taking this to the floor now. Fishing for something beneath the ring. Taking a big risk here by bringing the table into
to the action. Looks like he has something planned with this table, guys. I don't want to know. A oh, oh, step. My God, that, that, that's a bad landing. He foiled that attempt. Oh, kendo stick right to the head. Don't come over here. Cole, quick, use Saxton as a human shield. Hoisted up into a powerbomb position. Took steady punches. Fighting out of it. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? A no DQ stipulation means you have to throw your regular playbook out the window. Because it's not going to save you here. It's time to get extreme. You make a good point, Corey. Everyday offense just isn't going to cut it in this kind of match. What a sick thump from that table. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Expected that one. No, oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. <laughs> oh, what a roundhouse kick. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Boom. Uh-oh. Clearing the table. They're going to take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end. Finishing this thing off by any means necessary. Working on the leg, unleashed on the knee, and that might drastically slow things down. Overhead kick finds the mark. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Someone's about to have a really bad night. And he has an answer for Priest. Boom! Head first. Looks like setting up for a suplex. We're gonna finish things off. Boom! Wow! Straight through the heart of the table. We are through the looking glass now, people. Anything goes from here on out. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Suplex. It wasn't the higher distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Oops, chucked that chair right at him. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. Balor time that just right. Just turn that around. Sequence of reversals there. Valor looking to close this one out. Down 19 16. Valor's in that headspace, ready to put the finishing touches on Priest. Uh oh, this is going to be bad. Really bad. On the table. through the announce desk. Absolutely no regard for anyone's well-being. Not even their own. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Quick return to the ring. Sight set on the top rope. Perched up top. Oh, just completely off target there. And that might have been too erratic of a decision to take such a high risk at this junction of the match. What a forearm. And Balor's looking determined. Balor unrelenting on Priest, refusing to back down for even a moment. He steps foot in the ring again. Finn, head 
sends him off at the pass. Look at this, going counter for counter. And he barely evades. Oh, Finn Balor with the overhead kick. And more hits up there can leave you dazed. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. Into the ring now. Oh, right in there. Priest doing what he can to stop the beatdown. Yeah, but he needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Fire with a straight shot there. Answering back. Oh. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Wards off that offense from Priest. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Ooh. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. Bam! How the hell are Priest and Balor even able to stand at this point? I don't know. Nothing pretty about this. Just a good old Donnie Brook here. Oh! 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 One thunderous final blow. This one is headed outside, guys. This bat is such a dangerous weapon in his hands right now. Countered it just in time. Just one step ahead. Boom! A forearm smash. And the momentum's clearly against Priest now. Things are going to to deal with. Not expecting that from him at this point. Fought off with an elbow. Placed in the corner. Chop. Followed by a, a drop kick to follow. Uh oh. Things just changed in a big way. There is no reason for him to be out here. Well, well, where are they? We're gonna take a trip south of heaven. Priest has him staring at the right. Whoa! I'm absolutely stunned. A display of near superhuman resilience. After seeing that, it's hard to imagine what it's going to take to keep this competitor down. Priest clearly thinking, what am I going to have to do to put this one away? The suspense this crowd is feeling is palpable. They are waiting with eyes in the drop zone. Cool cross from Balor. Will that stop Priest? Two count. And Quinn Balor is your winner. kept their focus and eked out the victory. It was definitely the result of keeping their head in the game in this one. Hey, they were just trying to keep them on their...